Hey guys, welcome to the Kamado Joe watch party. I'm Jack from Jack's Meat Shack, and today we're cooking some In N Out burgers on the Kamado Joe Classic Free. We're going to use the griddle plate, we're going to make 40 gram patties, smash them down, and then build our burger with cheese, In N Out sauce, lettuce, tomato. So let's see how we prepare them. For those of you who don't know, In-N-Out Burger is possibly the best thing to come out of California since Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, for me to say that, that's a massive claim, but I love In-N-Out, it's amazing. Every time I go to California, I always get it, and I could never manage to recreate it, so today we're gonna try it. First thing we're gonna do is finely dice one gherkin and half an onion. You wanna do this as small as possible, or as small as you can manage. There's really no rules. If you like it a bit coarser, chop it a bit coarser. It's totally up to you. And of course, before we chopped all of our vegetables, we got our Kamado Joe on. We put the fire light in the charcoal basket and we want to get the grill to around 200 degrees Celsius so we can cook our burgers. Now for the sauce. Half a cup of full fat mayonnaise because no one likes that light crap two tablespoons of tomato ketchup. Then around a tablespoon of your chopped pickle or gherkin. And then around a tablespoon of your finely diced onion. And then what you're gonna do is get a mini whisk and start to combine it. Then you're gonna realize your whisk is crap. So you're gonna transfer over to a nice spoon and finish off mixing it with a spoon. Now for the patties. 40 grams of beef mince, good quality mince, nice and fatty, and we're gonna use our spatula that I've wrapped in tin foil because sometimes you just need to adapt and overcome. That's barbecue. Work with what you got, not what you have. So flatten them down onto the griddle, nice and smoothly like this, so they stay in a nice burger shape. We're going for a treble stacked burger today. In and out, do their secret menu where you can order a standard double double, which is two patties, but sometimes you can go off the menu, you can have four or three. So today we're going for three. Literally, these are gonna take minutes. Thin beef is gonna crisp up, get a nice crust on it, and then we're gonna flip it over, he says, moving it around like that. Then we're gonna mustard glaze, English mustard, Use your silicone brush to brush the patties with a dollop of English mustard. Then we're gonna hit them with some American cheese. Now we're gonna build our burger. Big heaping tablespoon of our sauce. For the bun, I'm using an English flat bottomed muffin. Try saying that again. It's the closest I've found to an In-N-Out burger bun. They use potato rolls and I've not been able to find them in the stores. So this is the next best thing. And then we're gonna layer it with a little bit of tomato and some fresh iceberg lettuce. Then we're gonna treble stack it. So we did three 40 gram patties. This is exactly the measurements that In-N-Out use, 40 grams of beef. Personally, I think they're a little bit too small. So, this is a treble stacked in and out burger with homemade sauce. I mean, look at that, that's beautiful. Okay, so the first attempt wasn't great. 40 grams isn't a lot of beef. So for the second attempt, we're gonna ramp it up. 100 gram burgers smashed down. We're gonna do two this time. Cheese, mustard glazed, tomato, lettuce, bun. Let's see how the second attempt comes out. Much better, 100 grams smashed down, glazed with English mustard, hit them with some American cheese, and then we're just gonna close the lid and let the residual heat melt the cheese onto the burger. And look at that, the cheese is melted, gorgeous. The cast iron plancher is doing its work for Tomato Joe. 
this is a wicked attachment. As you can see, I've only got half the charcoal in the basket, so one side is totally cool. This time I've actually toasted the bun because the last time it was a little bit soggy and no one likes a soggy bottom. Now, more of our homemade in and out sauce, layer it on, then tomato, lettuce, patties, top of the bun, done. Nailed it, look at that. That is the closest to in and out you're gonna get in East London by a country mile. Check that beauty out.